All right, last example. Using period of an aid, I can quickly rewrite this. This is greater than 2 pi, and it's also negative. So I can re now remember 2 pi is equivalent to what when I have a denominator of 6? 12 pi. So I could write this as negative 12 pi over 6. And then therefore to get to um, 23 would be? So would you guys agree with me that 11, 12 pi over 6, um, oh, I'll use the same one, I'll use the same angle. So negative 12 pi over 6 plus negative 11 pi over 6 gives me negative 23 pi over 6. Yes, agree? No, wait. No, it doesn't give you. Yes, it does. OK, got it. Yes, um, 23. However, this is a little, this is just a period, right? So we get rid of it. We don't really need it. So now we need to find 11 pi over 6. Well, guys, remember, all the way around is 12 pi over 6, right? So if you go all the way around in the other direction, that is how far? Negative 12 pi over 6, right? So if I'm going to leg negative 11 pi over 6, then I'm just going to shut my angle a little bit short. And my reference angle is pi over 6. So if I have pi over 6, I look at my unit circle and I say, OK, well, what is the point then at pi over 6? That's going to be square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. What is the sign of, of that point? 1 half, yes. Wait, what? OK, which question? Because I know the first quadrant. As I mentioned, I don't need you guys to memorize the whole unit circle. You guys should know, as we've, because we've explained, it's not been like the first time we've done this. We know unit circle, we know special right triangles. I showed you how the unit right tri special right triangles show up in the right quadrant, right? And then I'm, I just know there's only three points in the, in the first quadrant. I just know, I mean, I've done so many enough math problems that I know them. And all I do is whenever I have an angle in a different quadrant, I just find the reference angle, compare that to, the refer to what it is in the first quadrant, and then I just use reflections to find the positive or negative. OK, but does everybody understand how I got 11, negative 11 pi over 6 is the same thing as pi over 6? Does that make sense? OK, because what we're about to, about to go over is not going to make sense. Boom! No. Sense.